Okay, and we're back everybody. So today we're gonna do episode 3 of the series that started uh, two days ago actually. This is gonna be the third installment, which would make sense considering it's probably labeled episode 3 and I probably said episode 3 already as well. So real quickly, if we check the ladder, it is, uh, yep, we're still number one and two on the ladder. Uh, main account, of course, is number one, and then our second account is number two. So the uh, the goal behind the series, of course, is to try and get our third account, this one right here, that we're going to change to really quickly. Basically, the same name of the two next to it. We're going to try to get it up to number three. Up on the ladder, we're currently 1,400 on this account, so we're not, well, we are very far away, but, you know, it, we're, like, not at zero. We're not at 1,000, so we're not at zero level, so that's pretty cool. Um... I guess I should apologize that this is a fairly late upload. Uh, we'll look for a battle, of course. We're just going to use our um, standard twice as toxic stall. It's just, like, easy to play. It's kind of late here. As you can see, it's 10.25. I kind of just want to use something that I'm very familiar with. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I should apologize for the uh, late upload, I guess. Even though it's still technically daily. Uh, because if you check yesterday's video, it said uh, probably said July 19th. And today, obviously, it says July 20th. So... Still technically daily, okay, even though your time zone might say it's not daily, you know, if you're EST, it's technically like, well, by the time this goes out, it'll probably be like, uh, I don't know, like, almost 2, maybe, like, 1.30-ish a.m., so it'll be the next day, but for me, it's still daily, okay, so that's that, um, but yeah, we're obviously looking for a gamer, oh, yeah, okay, we are on our second account, or our third account, rather, but yeah. Um, I guess we can go over the team in case you haven't watched any videos containing this team yet, which I guess you guys actually haven't. Uh, not in this series anyway. I've obviously showcased this team many times, both in uh, when I first made it and I like and I showed how I made it to number one, and then how I became in the how I became both number one and two video. So it's been showcased a couple times, but I guess never in this series yet. So we'll look for a game and uh, hopefully we find one. Of course, it is late, so. We might actually not find anything. <laughs> well, we'll see. But uh, we'll probably get one or two games, depending on how it goes, of course. We might even try to look for two games at once. And uh, we'll probably try that as well. But, okay, we get one. And, unfortunately, we have to play a Duraladon. So that's very unfortunate. I actually don't know if we can beat the Duraladon. We'll try, of course. But uh, we'll see. But as you can see here, we're 14-12. Uh, which is okay enough, you know. If we beat this guy, he's 1580. Oh my god, we could get like 30 points off this dude. Of course, we will have to see if we win or not, but uh. Yeah. Okay, Duraldon don't lead his uh, standard. He could be Choice Spec Draco, but uh, I think we do live the Choice Spec Draco. So I'm just gonna knock it off in case he's Life Orb Stealth Rocks. Um, because I. Yeah, he looks like that's Life Orb. Maybe he's Choice Specs as well. Okay, he has Choice Specs. Interesting. Um, obviously, here the play is just going hard. No, thank you. Should Draco Meteor here? Okay, flash cannons again. Interesting choice. We obviously are forced into milk tank or milk drink here, and then we can toxic on the clay doll. It's probably fine to do that. Yeah, and now we can stealth rock up. If he wants to toxic as well, it's a little annoying, but what it is. Uh, he just scorching sense. If we get burned, that's actually great for us. But because what we can do is we can click seismic toss, and then if he rapid spins, of course. Uh, okay, he goes into Duraldon. Interesting play that will milk drink, of course. It's just fairly free. It, yeah, he steel beams as well. So we lost nothing from milk drinking. It scouts for the steel beam. It also I uh, just. Brings us back up to a decent amount of HP. Um, he does have a Vol Plume. If it's a Growth Strength Sap, then it could be a bit of a threat. So I think we do still need to keep Miltank alive, of course. Aromatisse initial switch in might not be bad as well, but getting in the Vol Plume is obviously not ideal. Um, we'll try it though, in case he doesn't want to U-turn. So he does want to U-turn. Bouffant is a huge threat, of course. Yeah, if it's the uh, sub variant, it could be quite annoying. So I think we're just going to... Yeah, he is sub, and we actually don't break with... Uh, okay then. Not breaking with... Jeez, that's actually quite annoying. Hmm. How can we do this? I guess we can wish here, and we can try to pass into Quagsire, maybe? And then we can, uh... It's gonna be tough for sure. Head Charge does quite a bit with a crit. Um, provided we don't get crit again, we should be okay, though. I'm not really sure he can break Quagsire without the, uh, crit. Earthquake obviously isn't doing any damage, of course. And Earthquake is breaking sub, so I'm not really entirely sure he wants to click sub again. Well, Toxic on the off chance he does, and he goes Valplum, which is obviously a good play as well. Well, ha we have to go drop in here. We have to try to get the rest off. And, yeah, we'll see what happens from here. But I think we're in an okay position, provided this is not Growth Sap. It does not look to be. We can rest here. He should just try to uh, either Sleep Powder or Sludge Bomb again. Either one works. We can look for a Sleep Talk knockoff here. Uh, if he wants to go into Pessimian as an opportunity to try to... 
like yeah he does that but uh, hopefully Ryan they knock off or toxic either one works knock off isn't ideal he's just not locked in anymore but uh yeah he shouldn't u-turn here he should actually cc or knock off either one is acceptable he does just knock off that's fine of course uh, we will just Willow Wisp here. We really actually we can even Toxic Spikes and then we can rest up on anything that wants to come in. Yeah, because Claydol is a pretty decent switch in for him. Uh, we will obviously just go into okay, Valplum coming in is pretty annoying, but not bad, of course. Uh, we'll just go. Uh, I'm not entirely certain I want to go Weezing and take the Sludge Bomb immediately. We can go Drapion first and Sleep Talk again, hoping that we get the Toxic Roll on Passimian. That would be great. Can we? Yes, we absolutely get it. That's amazing, of course. Uh, if he wants to U-turn, our Weezing is going to get more and more chipped, so that's a little annoying, but if he CCs, we can use this opportunity to rest up. He does just U-turn, and he gets a crit once again. Um, okay, we can rest here. Yeah, this is fairly free. He can't really touch us here. He is around with Therapy on Valplum. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Of course, we will just go Drapion now. He goes Plasimian. Once again, interesting choice. We'll just go into Aromatisse here. Gunk Shot and Miss. That's huge for us. Uh, actually, very surprised he made that play. However, we actually do live too, um, unless he poisoned, of course, but uh, that's a different story. We'll aromatherapy here. Uh, actually, we may have not lived too. Jesus. Okay, so that gunk shot miss actually really saved us. I'm really sorry, dude. Of course, we have to protect and we have to go wheezing here. Uh, he knocks off again. Okay, interesting choice. I will Lilisp now. Yeah, he CCs for some reason. Um, we could have sludge bombed and won the game, but apparently he doesn't view it that way, maybe. Will Willow's again here. Yeah, he should just try to use this as an opportunity to get in. Okay, this is not what I thought he would get in, but it's also fine, I guess. Um, yeah, hmm. It's gonna be tough. We have to go around T's, hoping, hoping he doesn't go into Foul Plume. If he does, we have to go hard wheezing as he sludge bombs. And we are faster, so we can rest up on this, which is good, of course. He aromatherapies. We'll probably just stay in here. Yeah, I don't want to let this thing uh, do anything. So we can go quag here. Head charge obviously isn't doing any damage. We recover up here fairly freely. I'm really surprised that he clicked Gunshot that turn. Obviously, had he landed, well, he would have had to land too, but that miss really sucked for him. I uh, will take it though. Uh, again, really unfortunate about that miss for him. Uh, I guess we were still not in a losing position because we had the Quagsar that walled uh, both Passimian and Bouflant, and then Drapion walled the rest of his team. So even without the Aromatisse, I think we're still technically in a winning position. So I'm not. Certain he would have won, but it definitely made it like that much easier for us to play. Anyway, of course we do here just uh, look for another game. We'll get probably one more, maybe. Actually, that was fairly short. Maybe we can get two more, depending on how fast uh, how fast we get the games, of course. But actually, we can use this time to uh, check the ladder and see if we're anywhere here. Obviously, we have the marker of the face, so it's fairly easy to find our name if it is on the ladder, of course. Or maybe I'm lying and it isn't. Okay then. Possibly also it might not have uh, refreshed so uh, You know, that's also a possibility. I guess we can click refresh to find out Yeah, that's fine as well, and then we'll check here really quickly if Okay, 1441 interesting. So we should actually be on the ladder. Uh, of course we have it on search So we'll unsearch. How do we unsearch? There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that uh, 1441 should actually be on the ladder. I believe 1441, yeah, there it is. 378, okay, top 400, not bad. Uh, if we get one more game, we could actually make it probably to top 300. Yeah, I could see that, depending on who we get, of course, but I think it's definitely doable. And yeah, I oh yeah, did we actually go over the team? Anyway, the team is fairly simple. You saw what it does in the game. It's, uh, it's like, it's... Double poison, that's what it's called, twice as toxic stall, of course. Um, it essentially functions off of Weezing plus Drapion, just kind of being very annoying for the opposing team. You kind of just spread poison and status with uh, both Drapion and Weezing. And then you have a Mill Tank for rock support, and then you have Decidueye for defog support, as well as a secondary trap, or sorry, I guess it's a primary trapper on this on this, uh, on this team. It is a trapper, but its function as a trapper is secondary. That's why I called it a secondary trapper. It's not a secondary trapper on the... Uh, on the team because it's the only trapper. So it's the primary trapper, but the the trapping functionality of Decidueye is secondary to its uh, defog functionality. If that makes sense, it's, it's a little uh, it's a little weird, but yeah, that's that's how it goes. And then of course Quagsire is just fairly standard unaware Pokemon. Can't really go without it on stall, I don't think. Oh great, we get to play Sun. Oh boy, we probably lose to Sun, but uh, we'll see what happens. We can try to win. Um, 
If we, if, okay, so how do we beat Sun? All right, uh, we can try to bait in Valplume on a Will-O-Wisp. If we get in on a Will-O-Wisp, then we can, yeah, it is me, hello? Yeah, what's up? Okay, I uh, have, anyway, wait, who, who is this guy? I don't know him. Cool, all right, he knows me, that's, yeah, yeah. Wait, who are you? Wait, who are you? I don't, I don't recognize this account. Oh, oh shit, 100, hell yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, 100, okay, okay. Yeah, cool, all right. Uh, yeah, we definitely lose the sun. But uh, we'll try, we'll try. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun, dude, okay. All right, this, is, this will be fun. We'll get Drappy on here, yeah, we'll just knock off immediately. If he wants to wolf switch, that's fine. We'll see if he's life orb or specs. That looks specs damage, if I'm being completely honest. Porygon 2 comes out, that's fine. We'll toxic here. Um, yeah, try attack obviously doing no damage. That's great for us, not so great for him. We'll knock off here, he should teleport or he should just uh, try attack again. He try attacks again, hopefully we don't get frozen or anything, that's fine. I will rest up on a recover probably, and I will sleep talk of course. Hopefully he goes into Torkoal as we can get a knockoff slash toxic off. He doesn't though, he might just teleport of course. He does just teleport, interesting. So that actually leads me to believe that he is mono. Okay, he goes Porygon once again. Um, yeah, that's fine of course. We don't really lose anything by staying in and burning that last turn of sleep. We can obviously just go to Sidua here. As he teleports out, which is very threatening, he gets to bring in Charizard now for free. Yikes, I did not consider that play. That was a good play on his end, not so good on my end, of course. Uh, if he's choice specs, we probably lose the game, so we'll go Multank. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Hopefully he doesn't have Focus Blast. If he does, though, we probably lose. Uh, I'm not entirely certain we should scout for it either, but we'll Multank. He just Air Slashes looking for Flinch, and he does not get it, which is great for us. Uh, we'll Stealth Arc here, maybe. We do have two Air Slashes at this position, so Leafeon coming on is okay. Not ideal, but okay. We'll go Multank. He... Okay, Sludge Bomb kills this if he wants to stay in on Double Edge, so that's my idea here. But uh, it's not a great idea, of course. It's uh, it's not it's not foolproof. If he wants to Double Edge and he crits us, we definitely die. But we can try, we can try, we can try. He knocks off and crits. Oh my God, is he life orb? Okay, so Sludge Bomb should kill. Yeah, okay, not bad. When I say not bad, I mean like it's just barely okay because uh, yeah, we're still gonna lose to everything else. Okay. All right, so here's the here's the thing. If you get trapped this, and ooh, this is gonna be tough, man. We we need to make sure sun is enough. So we trap this here. Hopefully, level plume burns us eventually. Hopefully, he doesn't yawn. He can't spin, obviously. Okay, that's fine. We'll, okay, toxic miss is okay. He stall talks. That's also okay. We need to essentially ensure that uh, this thing dies without sun being up for val plume. If that is doable, then we're in a decent-ish position. Okay, he gets the burn, understandable, of course. Uh, we'll roost here one more time. And he crits us, not so understandable. Uh, we're in a bad position versus uh, Helios. Oh, wow. Uh, yo, uh, okay. All right, he just forfeits. I guess he maybe didn't have growth on Valpo? Or he didn't have Static Sap. I guess it could have been non-Strength Sap, in which case, yeah. He obviously cannot break the Drapion and he just loses. Which I guess makes sense. On Sun, Valplumes don't generally run Strength Sap. But okay, we get the win there. And uh, we get we played against 100, so that's pretty cool. Interesting, interesting, uh, interesting game there. Uh, obviously, if you don't know 100, he's he's like a... He's super cool, dude. He's very funny. He's in, uh, <laughs> he's in some service that I'm in and he's cool as hell. Anyway, I'm done. Uh, bragging about knowing 100 if that's like a thing that people do dude like oh my god that sounds so stupid I'm like I'm like bragging about not even being friends with 100 I hope he considers considers me a friend but like I'm like bragging about knowing 100 that's so dumb anyway uh, <laughs> okay dude okay okay anyway uh, <laughs> uh, we'll look for one more game because that was fairly short of course and yeah we'll see ya uh, We'll see, we'll see what we get. This game was really fun. Uh, obviously we got not the luckiest in this game. I guess it makes up for the last game where we did get pretty lucky, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really entirely sure he should have forfeited on that, on this game, but because I, I think theoretically Valpum was still okay in this position. Obviously not ideal by any means of the, like, 
by any stretch of the imagination, but it's it was okay. It could definitely potentially win, provided that he gets enough growth. Like if he doubled into it on Armor Tease and I misplayed or something, but I guess this just saves him some time, knowing that I probably wouldn't misplay. I've had a lot of uh, experience in this tier, as you can probably see from the fact that we're number one and two, okay? And potentially number three soon, who knows? But yeah, we're obviously looking for uh, one more game. I'll probably leave timestamps for uh, when the games begin in the description, so that's that. If you want to just skip ahead to the last game, it's in the description, almost certainly, unless I forget, in which case I apologize right here and now. Obviously, if you want to stick around and listen to me babble about knowing 100 and uh, talk about the tier, I guess, then that's cool too. So I guess one topic I wanted to actually talk about in the uh, tier is the, uh, well, the ban of Machamp is actually something fairly relevant. Obviously, our team was very well equipped to deal with Machamp with both the Neutralizing Gas, Weezing, and Aromatisse. Because, well, Aromatisse just checks all sets of Machamp, aside from maybe Guts Heavy Slam. Um, but other than that, Aromatisse generally checks all Machamp sets. And then Glorian Weezing just obviously is insane versus Machamp because it either makes it so that his moves aren't 100% accurate because of uh, Neutralizing Gas, ignoring the uh, the No Guard, or it makes it so that uh, his like Guts don't actually boost his attack, but rather neuter his attacks because they usually run Flame Orb, which means that uh, they're burnt, and without Guts they actually do less damage than what they would they would do even without Guts if they weren't burnt. Uh, that probably goes without saying, but anyway, we finally get one more game and uh, we'll go into this one with a fairly okay matchup, I believe. Obviously, Tauros is super threatening, Charizard is of course threatening as always, Magneton is actually, I every time I say a new Mon, it seems as though the matchup gets worse and worse, so I'm not entirely cer certain. The only reason I say it's a decent matchup is because I do expect the Excel Gore lead and we can just go to Sejua here. And we can Spirit Shackle. He obviously cannot final Gambit us, which is one of the main uh, reasons why this is good. Obviously, he can Bug Bus, and we'll see if he specs. Does he? He fishes for the poison immediately. Interesting choice there. Uh, we'll just Spirit Shackle. He might try to get up Spikes or something, but I'm okay with that trade if he wants to. We can obviously just Defog later on in the game. Uh, if he doesn't want to spike up, I'm not entirely sure what he wants to do. He's just looking for more poisons. He doesn't get one. Very unlucky for him. Well, not very unlucky. It's technically in his favor, but very slightly. It's, uh, I believe, 51% chance to poison. So that's how it is. Yeah, I think that's how the math comes out too, right? It's uh, 0.3... Uh, 1 minus 0.3 to the power of 2. I believe that's how that math works. So anyway... I'm not going to give you a math lesson on probability, obviously. I'm just going to go mill tank on the obvious fire move. Okay, air slash. No flinch, please. No flinchies, no flinchy. You know what? He's, he's going hard right on, dude. I'm just going to toxic. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we'll just stop talk up here. Actually, we can use this opportunity to get HP back on this UI and prevent a uh, stealth truck from going up. So, I don't know why I would click stealth rocks here. Yeah, I had also avoided the body press play, which I was honest. Admittedly, I was not thinking about, but it obviously... Covers that as well, we'll roost here. Stone is doing 53, is a little bit worrisome, but we can just roost off any damage here and we should be okay. Uh, obviously he's more, actually I'm not entirely certain what the uh, crit ratio is on Stone Edge, but I think he's more likely to miss than he is to crit, and we do live one crit, so that's okay with me as well. Obviously if he chooses to click Stone Edge on this turn, he will just die, because we can Spirit Jackal the next turn. Now we're in a not so great position versus the Charizard because obviously Miltank, if we get flinched, we lose. Um, I would rather actually just go into Drapion. This seems much less of a necessity. And he Fire Blasts to almost to a KO. Uh, we'll Toxic here. He should maybe Fire Blast one more time. That would be the ideal, of course. Obviously, we could also just rest, and that's an okay play as well. I think I actually make that play. Yeah, rest is fine as well. This way we get one more switch into Charizard as a potential sack. And uh, we still have this situation just coming on right on forever and uh, yeah, be very annoying in that regard. Earthquake doing no damage, of course. Uh, he might die, but either way, I believe the correct play is just to roost. Yeah, he just stone edges and, uh, well, I, yeah, I think this is okay. It's not ideal by any means, but it's okay enough. Um, Hip only becomes more of a threat now, but Charizard is there as well, okay. Obviously, I think Drapion Sack is just necessary at this position. He has du double flame move. Okay, interesting. Um, we'll just sleep talk, look for a toxic. If we get the toxic off, that'd be amazing. 
Is that specs? That does so much damage. Ah, we get rest. None of the good moves. Okay. Uh -huh. That's a little annoying, but not bad. Is that metronome? I actually don't even know what this thing is. Why is it doing so much damage? Alright, we'll go melt tank and we'll melt drink. We'll see if he is metronome here, obviously. Flamethrower will do a lot of damage if it is. Hopefully it's not. It doesn't look to be metronome. So we'll just stealth rock up here. Um, yeah, I don't know why you flamethrower then. Interesting choice, to say the least. Uh, we should be okay here. Uh, we're in a not bad position by any means. Uh, this might put us in a bad position, so... Hope it doesn't, I guess. I uh, will stealth rock here. Uh, sorry, seismic toss here. Flash cannon does a good amount of damage, and he gets the spit F drop, which is not what we like to see at all. We're actually forced into Quagsire, which weakens our Tauros response. And he decides to Thunderbolt. Interesting choice there. I'm not entirely sure if I agree with it or not, but it's what it is. I guess we'll Scald. Uh, we don't really have any reason to click Earthquake there. We can Fish for a Burn. That looks to be AV, which is amazing for us, because what that actually means is we can bring in our Weezing for free, and now we can just T-Spikes up. Uh, he should switch. I don't believe he should stay in here. He spins away the rocks, interesting. All right, we'll will wisp now. He should try to spin again, maybe. Uh, yeah, he should spin again. Okay, that's fine. Now we can, uh, we land the will wisp which is great. Now we can T-Spike up one last time. And essentially, because he's a uh, will wisp we can actually bring in Decidueye the next time he wants to try and will wisp or sorry, spin, and that'd be amazing for us. Goes Charizard, and this is going to be uh, quite a big threat here. Uh, yeah, this is going to be quite annoying, actually. I believe our play is Aromatisse and Pivot. If he clicks the fire move, he does click the fire move, doing a lot of damage, of course. We'll protect here. We have no reason not to. This is definitely getting more tough than I would have assumed it to be, but we have to go mill tank here, obviously. Uh, if Magneton comes in, we can get up rocks, and that'd be great. If not... Not entirely certain what the play is. If he goes Tauros, I think we have to go Weezing. Uh, that's not so clear, but I think that's the right play. If he wants to go into Hit Only, I think we can just Milk Drink, but I don't know. This looks to be Specs, maybe. I don't I don't think the Flamethrower should have done 45% to Drapion. That seems so, like, so much damage. Charizard isn't that strong, is it? He goes Hit Only? Okay, that's fine. Here we'll just go Decidueye. I really hope he does not click. I really, really hope he does not click. Hmm. We'll see. Ah, that's so bad. That's so bad. That's so bad. That's so bad for me. Oh my god, I threw the game. I can't believe he made that play. Good play on his end, dude. Alright. Ah, man, that's super annoying. Okay. We'll sludge bomb, I guess. Ah, man. That's... That's something. Okay. Alright, he spins there. Obviously, a fine play. He doesn't want to get Tauros poisoned. Alright, we'll Sludge Bomb again. Hopefully, he goes Charizard, but it's not clear at all now. Ah, oh, man. This Charizard is super annoying, dude. Okay, uh, he knocks off again. Interesting, okay. Well, T-Spike's up here. Uh, he can't actually prevent it now, so that's good for us. To an extent, he knocks off one more time. This is not good. This is not good, boys. This is not looking good. I'm not even certain what the correct play is anymore. Obviously, I think we have to preserve Miltank and we have to preserve Quagsar, so... Probably sack Decidueye here and then go Miltank. Fire Bust again, okay, interesting. We'll just Milt... Sorry, we'll just Stealth Rock up here. Fire Bust does not do a KO ever, so that's okay with me. Ah, this is not clear. This is not clear by any means. Magneton comes out, okay. This is so not clear, and it sucks that it's not clear. We have to Seismic Toss here? Mm. Yeah, okay. Flash Cannon does no damage. Don't get the Spit F drop this time. Thank you. We'll Milk Drink up here. Hopefully he does not Thunderbolt. Not clear, not clear. Okay, he does Flash Cannon, but now we're okay. Because we're faster, we can get the uh, Seismic Toss off. Uh, <laughs> I I'm going to say it again. It's not clear, because uh, he can still flinch us down, and that's super, super annoying. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, obviously. If we get flinched down, then it is what it is. We can't do anything about it. Here, I actually do just go Weezing. And I think that's the correct play. Because he will take, uh... He'll take Life Orb damage. Be okay, he gets the Para too. Amazing. Uh, obviously, it doesn't matter. He'll just kill us with the next attack. But he will take Life Orb damage because uh, Neutralizing Gas makes Sheer Force not a thing. So that's good for us. We'll take Poison damage, and then uh, we go Aromatisse, I think. And then we'll put Protect. 
Uh, yeah, I think that's fine here. Body slams there. Okay. Quagsire actually should live two, I believe. If not, then it's, it's still fine because he has to take essentially three rounds because he'll have to kill Quagsire. Oh, that did no damage. He clicked Iron Head that turn. Interesting. Uh, now we can recover up and I think we're just guaranteed winning. That play on his end was very bad, if I'm being completely honest with you. Yeah. Uh, uh, he needed to body slam and go for a body slam crit on Quagsire and then try to flinch everything down. But at this point, the uh, likelihood of him flinching everything down is super low because Quagsire is alive. And that's very bad for him if uh, I needed to say that, but I probably didn't. Anyway, obviously the play here is just Scald. It's no drawback. Um, yeah. He shouldn't flinch us. Oh man, we're gonna do it. We're gonna lose to flinch. Oh boy. It, it's gonna happen here. If it happens here, you see it live, so that'd be amazing. Oh, here it goes. Alright boys, it's starting. Can we miss one? Can we miss one? Oh no. Oh boys, it's gonna happen. Oh boys. Oh boy, okay. Alright. Okay. Huh. Now we're in a uh, not so great position. Okay, I thought we were guaranteed winning, but he's got every flinch. Oh boy. Alright, now our best place to try and PP stall is air slashes, as stupid as it sounds. We actually want to give our mill tank the best chance of survival, and he misses, so now we're winning guaranteed. Uh, because yeah, we can look for a Moonblast anything. We can just look for a Moonblast uh, drop here. If we get it, we win. If Yeah, dude, this is totally over. We're gonna protect again, just in case, but yeah, this is 100% this is over. And yeah, I think we're actually maybe in the top 300 now. I'm not sure. We'll wait for the end of the video, but by until uh, then, we can just admire how great this team is. Obviously, it destroyed 100. I might put that in the title. What what should I call it? It might be like stall team destroys tournament player makes him retire from the ru tier or something no i'm not gonna do that it's so stupid especially after i literally bragged about just knowing uh, just knowing 100 oh my god i'm so stupid okay anyway i think hopefully the ladder has updated by now and uh yeah well maybe control f is probably the best bet here Oh, there's four. Okay, so the number one, number two. Oh, top 300, boys. We did it. Okay, next episode, we're going to try to get to top 200, and that'd be great. So, yeah, I think I think that's literally it. So, thanks for watching, I guess. We'll scroll up so that we can ha see our number one and number two. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.